We look rough, but I'll tell you what doesn't look rough. Good morning. It's been a long time since I've done an intro. Bloody hell. It is Friday the 17th of November and it is 9 o'clock. And we are in Crosby today doing this. So what's happening here is this is getting gutted out a bit to make room for a cooker. So you can see here customers already made the chalk lines. So that's what we're going off and we're just getting a concrete lintel put in and then just take the unnecessary stuff out. We've brought extra lintels too because just to see what's going to happen here if we need any. It's better to have them and not need them. Same with the acros, we've brought the acros just in case. That's the plan, we've got, uh, we've got the kit all out ready. The uh, MX is a, a right beating the other day with the knocking out of that slab. They uh, got put to the test so they're having a bit of a charge. Radio is ready, all the other batteries are ready, and then hand tools. So we'll, um, we'll stitch drill this because we're inside, obviously, we want to make as least dust as possible. And that is the only thing that needs covering up. It's uh, new French windows and French doors. And that's all that needs covering the rest of it. We just need to stitch drill to make as little dust as possible for, for our own sake. But yeah, we'll um, get you set up somewhere and we will get cracking. So, uh, see you on time lapse. perfect demonstration of how when you prop in brickwork works. So you put a prop here, when it all falls that's as far as it goes, it naturally stops like that. So that's supporting itself. That's why you don't need millions of acros all lined up dead close to each other. So there you go. So now we have to start taking these out. Let's go back further back. That's that's basically with the, the arch gone, that's all the arch was supporting, the rest of it supports itself. Well, the arch wasn't supporting much, was it? No. Right, yeah, it's cracked on, it stinks, and it's stuck. Oh. Right, what time are we on? About half nine. Good God. You're black. Am I? Yes. I'm sure it's going to get worse as well. So there you go, this is a good example of why it's not really a DIY job to knock a chimney breast out. The reason being, you can see the shape of it inside now. I think that's called gathering in when when I was an apprentice we built chimneys we used a concrete lit flue liners I used to have a bend in the flue liner I used to build this as a actual concrete flue but obviously the old houses it was built as a as a brick wall so it's not just a case of knocking the front out and putting the lintel in you've got to take all the gathering in out as well and then this has been swept I think yesterday or the day before although it's still very rotten but um, yeah we've still got to support all this, this masonry that goes above so we need to basically slot two more lintels in for each skin. So we've, we've, brought, we've brought three and the customer has one anyway. 
which is a 1500 so it's, at least he got the right size but anyway so we've got to cut that out we can't really prop that but that that stuff should be bonded into the both both skins so that should be self-supporting this front skin self-supporting at the moment because it's got headers in it until we take this out this is supporting itself you've just got that loose stretcher but you're going to go another header over there but one brick falling out isn't a big deal because that's where our lintel is going at that level so once we've cut through this took this out we can slot the lintels in onto the two cheeks either side pack it all up and then that's all held then so we'll have three lintels one two three and then I think we'll be dropping all this out anyway so there's the actual what we're going for one brick in that high up across and the cook is going in the alcove so um, I'm not sure if it's been capped off at the roof level but it looks nice and dry and it's pouring down at the moment so it must have been capped off so basically we've got to move all that cut all the rest of that out get the lintel slotted in and that, let's give you a little rundown of the customer uh, the customer has uh, got us off YouTube and as we've chatted to him this morning he used to be a teacher at Alex's old school before so, I was there yeah before he was there but that's how like they've both been chatting about all the teachers they both knew from that school so that's how much of a small world it is yeah yeah and um, we've just we did a job last year and it was on his street in, in, the, in the, where he lives this isn't his house this is his son's renovation job so yeah so that's it we're going to go for a break now and let the dust settle when we come back from break we're going to clear up make ourselves a bit of room to work and carry on with the uh, demolition so let's head out for a break Take two. As you can see, we're going great guns here. This cheek's nearly done. As you can see, all the gathering in up here, this is all headers, so it's all bonded in. So I'm pretty sure, as you can see, it goes up and goes back that way. So there's not going to be much for the lintel to go under there. Whereas this side's coming over, so there's going to be a lot more to go under there. So we'll have to be careful, nothing drops up there. I hope it doesn't, but it shouldn't because it should be. Uh, bonded in like that. This so this big section is bonded in. This is holding all this up. But as it goes less and less, so I think that the uh, the actual flow ends up right on that edge. It goes over to there. So um, we've been using the old toys with the leads on them because uh, we're still awaiting our our um, cordless version. A bit smaller than this because this is a beast. So once the smaller one comes, you'll see most of the old stuff in the videos. I've tripped all the wires a couple of times already. So now there's room to get this thing in. We're, gonna get, we're just going to bully the way out of it. There's a bit 
update we're getting darker all right trying to get the um let's head over here we're just debating which height the lintel was at because we can't remember but we've got a picture online so wait for that to load up so but anyway it's either going there or there and as you can see here now i've took all the loose stuff out of here so we can build this up for our lintel i've brought a couple of screw ties to tie it into this outside skin but if you look up there i'm gonna get a, my glamorous assistant gets our light World War II search like this. So there you go. That we can give that a couple of knocks. Most of that will be loose and will come out. And then we've got this side which is the, the gathering in. So it's gone up like that and across. So that's where the chimney is up there. Above me. So we just need to cut a slot into this to get our two lintels in. We could put the lintels in just like that from there. Yeah. And the lintels could sit on because it's doing the same job, isn't it? Yeah. It's really but, but on the other hand, this, this all has to come out. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty pointless, isn't it? So yeah, so we have to go back obviously into the cheeks again with the lintels. Um so that these are gonna be a bit more challenging to get in. But um we should be alright. We can we can get the strong boys from this side and grab the first two skins the other skin with it being tight inside all that lot it shouldn't go anywhere so uh, yeah um, we're gonna put a screw no we're not yeah we're just gonna put a couple of bricks on here screw tie and then another couple of bricks maybe tie one into there and one into there so it's it's held but, um, yeah, we're going to build up flush with this as flush as we can so that will give us 100 mil seating for the lintels not ideal but that's all you can get you don't just start taking the back of the bricks out when they're holding the chimney up and uh, same this side we're going to take all this out and then put a pocket in for the two lintels three lintels so um, that's, uh, that's the plan from now uh, right now we're going to clear another clear up again and start knocking some of this down. So, see in a bit.
buried in the van. into phase three which is power tools are finished with except for that so I just need to cut, a, cut the linkers down so I'm gonna Alex just put all the tools back in there I thought, I thought it was wet in there but it actually wasn't it's wet in there the top shelf I just dried everything out so everything's out everything's propped it's ready for the lintels to go in now so um Alex just put a mix in so it's tidy up clear the decks get rid of all the power tools and get the building bit done. It's just gone two o'clock, I think. Scott Mills is on now. While I'm uh, doing this, I think Dad might be getting ready to cut these. Oh yeah. Oversized lintels down. down. Could you be got them big? Because uh, I think this is probably over fifteen hundred. That. So um, we we picked up three eighteen hundred, so it worked out better in our favour. So um, yeah, that's it. That is the alcove. It's cut back. Everything's cut out. Our lintels are gonna take that. The, the, uh, ga the p gathering in, it's not tumbling in. So that lint is going to go in there. It's going to sit on that end, which is not going to hold anything. And this end is going to hold this. So basically, the lintel is replacing the, um, the cobbles. So as you can see, it's not as straightforward as it looks when you're looking at it. There's a lot, there's a lot that goes on inside the chimney breast, especially at the um, fireplace area, just here. I think. Uh, a DIY I don't know, think what the hell I'm going to do with that and, you, and you, you've got to know that it's like that so that you know to have it propped and what to do with it that's, that's worked in our favour having the um, having it toothed in like that that's, that's a lot of strength as you can see like that there too so um, yeah we've, that's a header and we've got the whole the header propped and that's pretty solid anyway it's, it, can't, it can't just fall down it's too solid so we're gonna have a, as I said, tidy up, clear the decks and get that get, the, get those three lintels in.
Right, cutting done, which you've probably seen because I think Alex filmed it. Three lentils at 1300, ready to go in at this level. So, a bit of building up to do there, a bit of slutting in to do there. So, we'll, we'll get it fettled. Bulk of the tidying up's done, we can get our masks off now because most of the brushing up's done, just a little bit to do there. So, um, we're all set. So I'll actually just get a spot board and a stand. Made by Rhino. The best spot board stands and spot boards out there. I just put them in the way. Hmm. See what? Still two touch, doesn't it? I've got a hundred mil here, you need a bit more. Can we not just make, put two bigger beds on it? What for? Let's be hiding them then, won't it? We should put a little bit more. These are going to be massive bricks as well, aren't they? That can probably be here. Um, on edge. Knock the bed off and put them like that. Save a bit of water. Nothing we can do with that though. We could put, put, put up a little bit. No, it's alright. Like you say. Can you have grooves in the back on, please? No, because you fell.
Okay. That was rough. <laughs> but, uh, we look rough, but I'll tell you what doesn't look rough. That's it finished. So that's ready for the cooker that's going in there. Hey, plasterers first. Yeah, plasterers first. But yeah, so it is a better look, so. Three lintels. Decent season on that. And there you go. Obviously, the, the brickwork was that out of level. We've had to dead out to compromise a bit. We've got brick on edge there, and then we've got some pieces in there to make up for that. But there you go. That's nice and secure. That's quite a nice job there. We, 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 there's been a job that we've enjoyed. Yeah. A stress free job for change. I mean, it was a bit mucky. Yeah, stand on the lights. On the yard. Okay. <laughs> just as bad. What are you here? <coughs> Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, be sure to subscribe and tap on that bell. That way you always know when we upload. It's a massive help to the channel and we appreciate the support. Any added support you want to give, there's Dad's super thanks option which is at the bottom of the video and there's also his paypal in the description which not necessary but greatly appreciated for the soon to be patient over there if you're new to the channel i'm waiting a hip operation and the hip replacement when they decide to do it so i will be out of action for six to eight weeks no that's why we push <laughs> but this has been brickling with steve and alex with some actual brickwork for once and we'll see you in the next video Thank you.